For today's video, I'm actually doing a DIY on how to make little flower pots for indoors. Um, so you can use it for indoor, like interior decoration. You can also use it for outside. Sorry, the dog's working. Still going. Finally done barking. Anyways. Uh, this is like an easy DIY you can do from home. All you need is cement and some cardboard boxes, which I'm pretty sure you're doing some online shopping. So I'm pretty sure you have some boxes at, ho at the house and some tape. Um, but yeah, so I just got some flowers from our gar garden from the front yard. I was going to go to Home Depot, but I didn't really feel like leaving the house. So, yes. Uh, easy DIY could be for inside, can be for outside doesn't really matter it's just some cute decoration and yeah so if you would like to see that keep watching so I'm going to be making a template with some cardboard first I'm going to be making five squares with the sizings of two and a half inches on all sides and I'm doing the same thing to the triangles, making all sides two and a half inches the only difference is that I'm going to be making eight triangles Once I've measured all of that, I'm going to cut. Next step, I'm going to be um, taping the cardboard because when you make your template, you're going to be putting cement in there. And because your cement has some water, I don't want it to absorb to the cardboard and then you're not going to be able to take it off. So I'm wrapping the cardboard with some tape that I had around the house. I don't even know what kind of tape I'm using. Um, so you can use duct tape, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can do the same strategy as I am. You can do different. It doesn't really matter as long as um, the water doesn't seep into the cardboard so it doesn't like absorb it. So you're going to want to make sure that you have one side that is not going to have any bubbles and is completely straight because you need to have one complete straight side so that way when you have your cement dry, it'll look nice and flat. And again, I'm doing the same thing with the triangle. You can do the same strategy as I am. I'm just showing you so it gives you a little better idea on what you can do. But like I said, you don't have to do it like me as long as you have it secured. And that's the most important part. And the second most important part is that you'll have at least one side that has um, no like ridges or bubbles. Now, once I'm done putting the tape on the cardboard, I'm going to be showing you how we're, we're going to be starting off with this template. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like so that way you can keep referring back to this. So that way you understand how I'm doing it and what pattern I'm doing it. So I'm doing triangle square, triangle square, triangle square. Once you get the hang of the pattern, I'm going to start taping all of them together so that way they're all connected. So that way at the end, I can tape the last part and it can be able to stand on its own. And make sure when you're taping the squares and the triangles, make sure you remember that the smoothest part is facing upwards and towards you. So that way when you put it together, all of that is in the inside of the template because you need that to be the smoothest part. So that way when your cement dries, it is the smoothest and it could look very nice. Thank you. 
I tried putting one of the triangles in, but it didn't really work out because I noticed my template wasn't really um, taped strong. So I started taping all the edges to make sure they're all very tight and snug and all the same size. So that's what I'm going to be doing for all four corners. Once I've done that, I'm able to put all the triangles in and just tape them in. And also, when you put the template together, make sure all of the facing inwards of the template where you're going to be putting in the cement, make sure those are all your flat sides because when you put the cement in, that is where you need it to be the smoothest. Because if you have ridges and it's super bumpy, then when your cement dries, it won't be as smooth as you wanted it to be. And lastly, with the square, I'm going to be taping off all the corners so that way it's nice and secure. I'm just putting my hand into the template that we created just to make sure that all the cardboard is nice and sturdy in all the tapes that I have put in. Once you're done taping all of the triangles and squares, you're going to want to go back and tape every single inch of it so that way there's no holes and so that way the cement cannot seep through. So I made another template. The smaller one is just a two inch and the bigger one is a two and a half inch. All right, so we're almost done here, I promise. So now I'm outside. I have actually a leftover of a toilet paper roll. I'm gonna be cutting it in half because that is going to be my template of where um, I'm not gonna put any cement in so that way I'm able to put my flowers in there with the soil. And I will be eventually putting tape around it. So when you put tape around it, just again, make sure that the tape is nice and sleek and smooth. Um, it doesn't have to, um, <laughs> unless you're a perfectionist like me, you know, it's a struggle. Everything has to be perfect. So I'm just putting tape on the bottom so that way the cement doesn't seep through. And it's like a cup in the cement so that way I have a form of putting my flowers in. So I got some quick cement from Home Depot, it was only $5 for a big bag. Um, I just put some water in it and I just mix it and yes, I'm using plastic spoons because that's all I had. Um, I didn't want to use a roll spoon because I wanted to be able to use something I could dispose. So I ended up using two spoons to make it thicker, so yeah. The consistency that you should have is like having oatmeal. Well, I don't eat oatmeal, but I feel like this is as good as I think oatmeal looks like. So this is how much I stirred and it kind of looked like that. It looks kind of like rough and textury. I thought it was supposed to be smoother, but oh well. I mean, it worked out in the end anyways. So I then started to put the cement into my templates, just, you know, putting it in there. While you're putting it in there, also remember that when you are applying the cement in your template, make sure you shake it around tap your template so that we get all the bubbles out once you've hit halfway of your template put your toilet paper roll that is taped in there so that way you can start putting the cement around it as i was putting cement around the toilet paper roll i started noticing that the toilet paper roll kept coming up um, and it didn't want to stay down. So I ended up getting some tools from the garage and put them into the toilet paper roll to make it stop moving. Surprisingly, the cement started to harden really fast, but just a reminder, maybe work a little quicker than I am because it started hardening a lot faster. For the next round, I actually got smarter and got some gloves um, I because I noticed that the cement was getting all over my hands. I checked to see if there's spiders. There was no spiders, which is a good thing. I also got a pillow for my little booty because my butt was hurting. And apparently I'm allergic to grass because the next day I had well to lift my legs. So that was great as well. And my spoon broke. So that was also fun. I got kind of lazy and was just like, screw it. I'm going to continue stirring with what I have because I did not want to get up. But I eventually went to go get another spoon. And then there's Tony. He literally almost stepped on the scissors. So I was like, oh no, you gotta go. It's a hazard over here.
Once I was done, I let them sit for two to three days in the sun. Once they were ready, they were really heavy and I just started to wrap it. I had a hard time at first, but I mean, once one piece came off, it ended up all falling apart and just came off easily. The toilet paper roll was pretty difficult to get out, so I went to get some pliers and I pried it out. And this is how they came out. I noticed that the edges were a little rough, so I wanted to sand them down. And also the top part was really rough as well. Um, I didn't expect it to be like that, but oh well. So now I'm just going to send them down. And again, this part is optional. You don't have to send them down. Like I said, again, I'm a perfectionist. I know it's annoying, but I send them down and I was really happy how it came out. Once I was done sanding, I went into our garden, our front yard, and I cut out some flowers. <music> I then put some soil and planted my flowers. Gave them a little bit of water and voila! watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, I hope you guys can try this DIY I had a really good time if you mess up I mean it's totally fine I mean the top part was a little bumpy but it's okay because it came out really cute so this was the two inch or the two and a half inch and this was the two inch so I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah give this video a thumbs up and see you next time bye Thank you.